Hi, this is JC Pohl with Teen Truth. I hope you're doing well, getting ready to kick off 2018. I'm actually here in my office right now, been uh, doing some brainstorming here with some poster papers on things that we want to accomplish this year and how we want to affect students and hopefully help your schools out as well. Uh, but one thing that we want to do this year, a little bit different than years past, was really take the time to recognize some of the schools that we met on the road that are doing just such a wonderful job. Um, as you can imagine with Teen Truth, uh, we're on many different campuses across the country. Uh, sometimes in other countries as well. Um, you know, visiting schools, meeting administrators, meeting teachers, meeting counselors, meeting students, of course. And uh, there's all kinds of different experiences that come along with that. And sometimes on the road, since we're visiting so many schools, you start to really see, you know, which schools are doing things really well, maybe which schools could use a little bit more help. So we just want to take some time uh, here at the beginning of 2018 to recognize the schools we visited in 2017 that are just kicking some butt. Uh, so we, we made some awards for them, and I just want to announce them uh, here on this video. So if you hear your name on this video, uh, you know, congratulations you've been working really hard and um, obviously if you didn't hear your name on this video it doesn't mean you're not working hard you're not doing a great job uh, we just wanted to uh, make sure we recognize some of the schools that were just doing amazing work so uh, the first one that I want to start off with and I, I got to be careful with these because they're actually glass um, is Chris Hollister in Chafee uh, Unified High School District. Uh, those of you that know Chris, uh, he's an amazing leader. He's a former principal. He's now an assistant superintendent there at the district. And Chris has been working for many years with Teen Truth to create new student programming across all of his high schools. Um, he came to me probably four or five years ago now, maybe even six or seven, um, and said, you know, JC, we want to create some anti-bully programming for our freshmen um, as they're coming into high school, you know, kind of like, you know, help your leave some of that transitional stress they might be feeling also just help them get acclimated to school and acclimated to being in high school in general um, so every year in August we've gone out and we speak to all of his high schools there's about I think there's nine high schools that we visit and we just hit all the freshman classes over a three or four day period and Chris has done a great job with that and the reason why I want to give him this award for um, best new student program is because not only has he worked hard to kind of create this program across um, the nine different high schools is um, he's gotten his vice principals involved, you know, so they're very involved in the program, but he's also pushed us. That's one of the coolest things that were about our relationship with him. Uh, like I said, we started kind of as an anti-bully program, and Chris Hollister is the man that pushed us into creating what we call our custom assembly option. You know, he came to me about two years ago. He said, I love what you're doing, but I want you to talk about suicide. I want you to talk about, you know, self-harm. I want you to talk about all these issues that kids are dealing with, and that's when we created the custom assembly that you know now, where we kind of use some of our trailers from our films. Um, so Chris is just doing a fantastic job, uh, so we're very honored to give him this award. Uh, the next up is a lady who many of you might know very well. This was a, a fun one to give out. Uh, Sarah Nillis with the Oregon Association of Student Councils. This award is for the best leadership program. Um, you know, in our work, we, we work with several educators that are putting on leadership summits, um, various camps, um, a lot of educators that do conferences. Um, and I know there's a lot of great ones out there, like Terry Ham. Uh, she works so hard here in Texas with the Texas Student Councils Group. Um, and then, of course, Sandy Curlin out in California with Castle. Um, but Sarah, we got to go up to her conference uh, this year, and it was just amazing up there in Oregon. Uh, the coolest thing with her is, you know, she was actually one of the first people to ever book me as a speaker uh, many years ago. And so it was so cool to come back, you know, nine or ten years later and keynote her conference again. It's just an amazing vibe that she creates up there. The kids just love it. There's all kinds of leadership, uh, you know, activities to experience. And um, she gets her student leaders, like her, uh, I guess it's her board member um, of board of students, like they're out there welcoming people. There's advice. They just felt very family friendly. Um, so we were honored to be a part of that family uh, uh, for the day or two that we went up there. Um, I was actually lucky enough to uh, not convince Sarah. Sarah asked actually if we could bring Arjun up. Many of you know Arjun's story from uh, some of the Teen Truth assemblies that, we've, uh, uh, that we feature. And Arjun um, actually went to the University of Oregon. And so it's pretty special for him to come up there and speak to the students up there. He was like a rock star. Uh, they gave, he gave autographs and everything. So, you know, Sarah, we really appreciate your support. We appreciate everything that you're doing for students. We really appreciate everything that you're doing for the state of Oregon, uh, just pushing student activities up there and pushing school culture. Um, you might realize that her name is spelled wrong on here, Sarah with an H. 
I know it's it doesn't have an H. <laughs> um, uh, so we have them making a new award for you uh, that we'll definitely send out to you uh, once we get it here. Um, another one that I want to recognize is Case for Kids. Case for Kids has been our client for a few years now. Um, Michelle Amos um, had started us down there in their after school program, bringing our Rising Up curriculum uh, to their schools. And as you know, Rising Up is a peer-to-peer -peer based program where we're teaching social emotional skills. It was designed specifically for school counselors to use to extend their guidance efforts on campus. But Michelle and her crew really latched on to using it as an after-school program. Um, just giving kids new leadership opportunities in the after-school program and allowing them to teach social emotional uh, skills. Uh, Michelle since moved on from Case, but Tony Candice and Jess Jesslyn Allen are there and they are just an amazing supporter of our program. Program. And the reason we're giving them the best after school program award is because honestly, of all the after school programs that we work with, they are just doing the best. They've got multiple schools running all kinds of different curriculum. Um, their site leaders and their teachers that they're working with are all jazzed up. They're all great people with great personalities, um, really awesome personalities actually. So we're actually going down there next week. So I'll make sure to give us them, that, uh, them this award in person. Um, but Jessalyn and Tony, you're doing a fabulous job there and you're our 2017 after school program winner. Um, another person that we really wanted to recognize was Sarah Rukowski. Um, Sarah actually works at Life Touch, and as you might have seen, uh, we had an amazing trip up to Alaska this year. Um, we've actually been to Alaska a few times over the over the time that Teen True's been around, uh, but Sarah brought us up there. We went to multiple schools, middle schools and high schools. We hosted a leadership summit. We had kids come in from all over the all over Anchorage, um, and it was just. You know, for me, I get kind of lucky sometimes where I get to travel to these amazing places and meet these amazing people. And um, that was, you know, kind of a life changing experience for me. Um, going up there to Alaska was just, it was so cool just to see the kids and the educators and uh, the close knit community that they have up there, but also to experience some of the nature they have up there and, um, you know, go hiking and things like that. And Sarah took us out for dinner and lunch. And so, you know, Life Touch has been a tremendous partner of ours and we've worked with many of their uh, territories across the nation. Um, but Sarah really put the extra effort in. And what I love so much about working with her and her team up there is that like, they never left us alone, all right? They went to every school with us. They were there shaking hands and giving high fives to the kids and helping the administrators. And they brought a cameraman with them to take pictures Pictures, so schools had amazing pictures. She went all out to make sure that those schools knew that Life Touch cared about their schools, their students, and ultimately their school culture. And that's why she has won our Best Community Partner Award. Um, so Sarah, uh, congratulations on that. It's a huge honor to send this up to you. Um, we have three awards left, so I won't, I won't take up too much more of your time. Uh, but this, one, uh, this was a special one that I wanted to give. Um, you know, as a counselor myself, uh, school counselors are very close to my heart. Uh, the work they do is just so important. And so many of them are just overwhelmed with, um, you know, crazy student council ratios, all kinds of additional work that they're doing, like testing and scheduling and just things that have nothing to do with counseling. Um, as you all know, they're, they're working, they're working really, really hard. Um, so this was a hard award for me to give out. You know, when I think of amazing school counselors, I think of Steve Patterson there at La Mesa Junior High. I think of Carrie uh, Wimberly down in Goliad. I mean, God, her heart for kids and the work she's putting in is just amazing. Um, but Pat Silva at the San Jose Charter Academy won our Best School Counseling Program Award. And the reason I gave it to Pat Silva is because her heart and her attitude, she is just such a warm and amazing person. Uh, she's running our Rising Up curriculum there. Uh, she's been running it for several years. Uh, they brought the Teen Truth Assemblies in. She really cares about school culture. But the coolest thing about Pat, and correct me if I'm wrong, Pat, but I believe this is what you told me. Her student to counselor ratio there is 1,200 to 1. 1,200 kids to one counselor. And I'll tell you this, Pat reaches all of them. 
and she reaches them with an amazing heart and care and tenderness and approach. She's amazing. And so Pat, you deserve this award. I know I've met many amazing school counselors on the road, but I want to take this time to recognize you uh, just for everything that you're doing. And, and really, like I said, the heart that you bring and the smile that you bring. You know, when you told me it was 1200 to one, it was like, no problem for you. No skin off your back. You're going to get it done. And um, I know they have an amazing school there at San Jose Charter. Great administration with Arlene Lemus and um, some of the other people that we've worked with there. But um, Pat really is a shining star and you deserve this award. The last two awards are kind of, I guess, the big, the big awards. We created two of them. It's for best school culture. Um, obviously, we visit many schools that have amazing school cultures. Um, schools that you just would never want to leave that you just they're just vibrant and fun to be at and they have great activity programs and the kids are really involved and when i think of that when i think of an amazing activity program when i think of a completely engaged campus when i think of just everything from sports to academics to administration and staff and everything getting pulled together the one school that I think of the most at the high school level, we made two of these, one for middle school, one for high school, is Granite Bay High School. Granite Bay High School is an amazing place. It's the kind of school that we would all want to work at. We would all want to send our kids to. And Tamara Givens there is the activity director. And Tamara, like Pat, has an amazing heart. She's got the most energy and just the, the best aura about her. And she just has an amazing activity program there. They've got clubs, they've got athletics, they've got everything that they're supporting from school spirit and student council. And she is running probably, don't quote me on this, but at least a hundred kids I bet are in her leadership program. And her attitude that she brings to school, as well as her principal, Jennifer Layton, um, is just amazing. Uh, we got to participate in their kickoff day. It was this great day where we did an assembly and they had all kinds of activities on campus. There were no classes. It was just a day for all the kids to come on campus at the beginning of the school year and just experience everything that Granite Bay has to offer, from barbecue to music uh, to everything. So Jennifer and Tamara, um, it's an honor to give you this award. You truly have one of the best school cultures that we visited. And I know it's great because of all the hard work that you and your students and your team put into it. Um, so that's Granite Bay High School. And at the middle school level, this one was the hardest one of all of them. We have visited so many great middle schools. Um, you know, I think of Marshall Middle School and everything they do there in San Diego. Uh, some of the great middle schools we visited in Texas. You know, the cool thing about living in Texas is going out to these small towns where just the school's everything there, you know, and, and the high school and the middle school is just the center of, of everything in the town. And we've gone to some middle schools that are just so vibrant. And then, of course, La Mesa Junior High and many of the middle schools in the Heart District out there in California are amazing. There's a lot of them. All right. There's a lot of them. Uh, but the one that I picked... Um, I say say we picked um, is Sowers Middle School. Um, Sowers Middle School in Huntington Beach is doing a phenomenal job around creating school culture. And the reason they're doing such a phenomenal job is because they care about it deeply. Okay, the principal there, John Ashby, he's actually new this year, um, but Alicia Tardiff, she is our client. She's the assistant principal there. She's been working with us for years. Um, Alicia knows our program and um, she wor has worked hard to bring us there every few years, you know, every two years or so, basically. And she got John to agree to, to bring us out there this year. Uh, but we had some hurdles we had to overcome um, with insurance and some of the things that the district was requiring. And these two, Alicia and John, went above and beyond to get us there. They recruited their sister middle school to help us out with costs. Um, they helped us, you know, raise money to pay for the insurance. They got their PTA involved. You know, one of the reasons they're getting this award and one of the reasons why any of these school culture awards should be giving out is because they get parents involved too. You know, we did a parents night there. They're like 50, 60, 70 people at the parents night, um, which they weren't happy with. All right. They wanted like two or 300, but I'll tell you 50 or 60 people at a parents night is really, really good. Um, but you know, these two just care. And I got the opportunity to sit with their student leaders in a leadership summit after we did the assemblies. They had me do three assemblies and one leadership summit. It was a long day, had to race to the airport. 
But the kids were just amazing. The discussion they had about social emotional issues, the heart they had um, to create activities and create solutions for these uh, issues was just amazing. And the coolest thing about Alicia and John is that they were there. They were there in the summit, they were there listening, they were there asking questions because they care about school culture. They care about everything that's happening on campus. And that's why I gave this, them this award. I'll be honest with you, I walk on a lot of campuses that have great school culture and I meet a lot of administrators that care a lot about it. But Alicia and John, you are doing a fabulous job because I just can tell that it's in the fabric of your being that you wanna create a great, connected, awesome school culture. Um, so that is it here. Uh, We're going to mail these awards out to you. Um, so you will receive them. Uh, it's just an honor to be involved in your life. It's an honor to be involved in all of your lives. Um, and whether it's myself or Jared Scott or any of our other speakers or employees that you're interacting with or working with, um, I want you to know that here at Teen Truth, we care about you, uh, we care about your school, and we care about helping you and serving you um, so you can just make the best school culture, the best after school program, the best counseling program, the best new student program, um, the best whatever it might be. We want to be there to help. So thanks so much. You have a great day and you have a great 2018. It's going to be awesome for you.